time for Corner Table, our theater review segment. It features legendary critic John Simon and newcomer Justin Brown. Simon, he wrote for New York Magazine for more than 35 years. He's also been featured in the New York Times, Washington Post, among many, many others. Justin, an actor and director who's just getting started in the critic game. Well, tonight, they're taking a look at the musical War Paint, starring Tony Award-winning actress Patti LuPone and Christine Ebersole. It's about the legendary rivalry between cosmetic icons Elizabeth Arden and Helena Rubinstein. That is, they built empires in the world previously ruled only by men. Hey, John. Hi. How you doing? Not too bad. I like that. So, me and John are here at Joe Allen, and we're going to talk to you today about War Paint. Right. So, your initial thoughts on War Paint are, what do you think? My, well, my feeling is that when you have two such female stars in parts that are interesting, per se, uh, you can't go too far along. And because the um, composer, in this case, tried to like really Broadway music, which some of the others are not, um, that helps too. It sounds a bit pastiche, but that's not, nothing wrong with that. And it's a, it's a fun show. It, it has good looks because it uses all kinds of bottles and containers and jars, uh, which are kind of fun to decorate a set with. And um, the material is good enough. Uh, the, the two men are pretty good, too, uh, so that uh, we have a good cast. And it's all directed very neatly, very handily, very swiftly. It moves. Uh -huh. So what more can you ask for? Well, I can ask for a little more. Um, <clears throat> so this is the same team that did Grey Gardens. Yes. Doug Wright, Scott Frankel, Michael Corey. Um, very talented team of individuals. However, what what it gets down to the wire is Patti Lapone and Christine Ebersol are absolute performance geniuses. You don't get to see two supernovas colliding like that on stage often, let alone people who are well decorated, who have incredible, you know, educations and technical instruments that they use on stage. But when you're creating a piece about women, for women, you'd want to include a woman's voice. And that's what I was missing in War Paint. When you look at the creative team, the only woman on that team that you get to really appreciate is the costume designer. Yes. Who, um, her name is escaping me, Catherine Zuber. Well, I mean, in a case like that, the costume designer is very important. Absolutely. However, when you think about what ends up really sticking to your audience, it's going to be lyric, it's going to be the words, it's going to be how something was created. And so when you're formulating a story about women that's very clearly about the oppression of women at a time when women couldn't really be their own individual institutions of power that Elizabeth Arden and Helena Rubinstein really fought against to be successful, you would maybe want a woman on your team to assist you in terms of the shaping of the content of the piece. So I think War Paint, all in all, is a really, really great piece. I think that it's potential to last is lackluster and I don't think it'll stay open far long but I did enjoy it when I was there it's one of the few shows I've enjoyed to kind of sit back and watch well yes that's already a very good thing these days because some things are perfectly unwatchable these days there's something rather stupid called com coming from away <laughs> which you can't even watch Wow. Much less listen to. Let's talk about things to watch. So we're telling people to go see War Paint, yeah? Well, I think... I think it's worth seeing. It's worth seeing, definitely. Up next, we're going to take a look at some local headlines, so please stay with us.